welcome to this week's Mortgage Minute with Mitch. So apologize if you missed me last week. It's uh, actually because Facebook did not post my video. They uh, confirmed that they did, but they didn't. And I went back and watched, and I think I was just a little critical of, uh, we'll call it the, the Casablanca over on Pennsylvania Avenue. So big tech doesn't like that. And uh, if you don't believe in censorship, just know it's real. And for those of you that know, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. So even on my little channel here, I, I do have to watch what I say. So. That being said, let's dive into this week's news. Uh, one of the biggest headlines was OPEC Plus, you know, the cartel of or, uh, countries that produce most of the world's oil. Uh, they decided that, you know, hey, we're not making en enough billions. Uh, we need to reduce output so we can increase prices. So uh, it's going to hurt. Uh, not only that, you know, all the, the uh, oil that's been coming out of our strategic reserves, that is going to stop here pretty soon. They're at the lowest level since 1984. So kind of a double whammy and uh, unfortunately after 99 consecutive days of gas prices dropping they are going to be going back up. Uh, we saw actual numbers of uh, um, unemployment dropped a little bit this week which you know is interesting because initial jobless claims went up by about 29,000 continuing claims went up by about 15,000 so kind of some contradictions there but the actual unemployment rates improved which while we did see a little bit of a rebound in rates earlier in the week that kind of killed the rally because as long as the job market's strong, that uh, along with the potential for inflation to continue to go up with the gas prices rising, that's going to force the Fed to continue with their strategy of rising interest rates, most likely. So, on to the good news. Uh, the Guardians won the first playoff game today, beat the Rays 2-1. to uh, Phenomenal baseball we're seeing, so they're back on tomorrow at 12.07, and uh, if Game 3 is necessary, that'll be at 4.07 on Sunday. So we have... Uh, the Buckeyes take on the Spartans in, on Saturday, 4 o'clock, and then we have the Browns hosting the Chargers at 1 o'clock on Sunday. So, ton of entertainment uh, for all you sports fans. And then come Monday, first preseason Cavaliers game. Lost a tight one the other day against the 76ers, but a lot of expectations now for this team going forward. So, um, weekend should be very nice, seasonal, cool, but very small chance of rain. Sunday looks gorgeous, sunshine all day, so... Get out and enjoy it, whatever you do, and uh, we'll see you next week, hopefully, as long as Big Tech allows it. Thanks for watching.